Good morning YouTube. It's 10 a.m. in the great state of Texas and I think this one is a plywood board bowl that we're doing today. So I have this pallet that's been sitting in my workshop for the past I don't know six months or so and finally decided to take it apart and this was going to be a bonus project actually but got to put this on the main uh, feed for the channel our Sunday video. So took the pallet off it's old crappy wood which you know usually pallet boards are measured it out and I was just going to do a stack of these little pallets glue them up real nice and neat and get it all taken care of I actually glued this up maybe four months ago and it's been sitting in my garage just glued up this entire time and finally got around to doing it so I haven't been in the garage consistently in the past four months or so we had a really bad dirt dust storm it's probably not even four months probably like three or two months something like that anyway if you live out here in west texas there's dirt blowing all the time and i've been spending more time trying to take care of the yard and getting the sand dunes out of my front yard than i have been making bowls so this was supposed to be a bonus project that i was going to release on wednesday i was going to do like a lot more projects this year but uh life gets in the way sometimes and you just don't get an opportunity to do the things you think you're going to be able to do so you guys are watching this on a sunday four months later instead of uh Instead of a Wednesday. So anyway, glued it up, got everything nice and taken care of, ran out of glue almost halfway toward the end, got it in the vice grips. Like I said, it's been gripped up for like months by the time I took this apart. And it's just your typical stack of wood here. Nothing fancy, nothing, you know, too cool like our, you know, epoxy projects that we like to do. And it's more rectangular than it is square, unfortunately. But that's not gonna stop us from getting stuff done on the channel. So anyway, just like our other projects, we won't need a waste block. We just take the face plate, put that directly on there, and then it should just, you know, go in real nice and smooth. I was really expecting the wood to crack, actually, when I put the face plate on, because the wood was so bad. When you saw me do the glue up and the cut down, you could see pieces that already want to fray off. And don't worry, one of those pieces are going to come back and hit me right in the face right in the face so that's that's not too fun so initially went back and forth between different chisels here and i learned you know i haven't been in the garage like i said in several months i learned that you really need to keep your tools sharp and i understand that i've been doing this for almost five years now and a piece came off that was the piece that hit me right in the face wear a face shield thank god i had my face shield on because that one hit me right in the face and I could feel it too, even though I had the shield on, you could you could feel the recoil when it like came off the lathe like that. So ended up having to come back and you know really try to get this thing down to a cylinder shape that we wanted to. And I think I either do or don't show how I actually you know changed the actual carbide tool uh, replacement head on it because I've been using the same chisels for like years and never replaced them. I'll rotate them out like turn it like clockwise or so but you know sharpen your tools it's just it's woodworking 101 but when you don't do something for a while you kind of tend to forget the importance of that because i had a lot of negative feedback uh on the chisel itself when i was actually you know trying to get this into a cylinder so here we are a little bit further down the road got it into a nice little cylinder shape now we're just going to make the mortise get that taken care of nice and neat and, and after this part it, it kind of went smooth from what I can remember remember actually I want to say take that back I probably this probably jumped off the lathe at one point I'm, I'm gonna say that probably does happen in this video but like I said I haven't had time to work in the shop and I've been just super busy with adulting that I actually forgot because a lot of the time when I do these videos I will I will edit the video and then come and do the commentary after the video has been editing. So this has actually been saved on my computer for, you know, a couple of weeks and I've totally forgotten about it. But once we got to this part, I felt pretty confident. Now we're just, you know, coming back, working the edges off, getting everything shaped down nice and neat, making sure everything's nice and round. It looks really cool. And this is where, you know, I first started woodworking. If you go back and watch a lot of my videos, pallet boards and pallet wood, that's what we, you know, did a lot of our projects with. And just getting back to that. I still have half most of that pallet, so you guys will probably see a lot more of these videos in the future where I'm just, you know, taking pallet wood and gluing it back and just seeing what seeing what we can get out of it. But this one didn't turn out too bad. 
uh, I hate sanding. I think every woodworker hates sanding. I did not spend a lot of time on the sanding portion of this. So once we get this thing gouged out, I think I did like maybe two rounds of different grit sandpaper. Maybe this is the part where it like kind of jumps off the lid. I want to say it did. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been months ago. But uh, this part went relatively smooth from what I can remember. Looks pretty good. I might paint another bowl later. I think the next pallet wood we do, we're going to paint it or stain it. Because this one, you know, just typical pine board, I think. But here we are. Here's all the shavings once we got all done with it. You know, nothing too fancy. It's got giant knots in it, giant gaps. And instead of filling those, I thought that gave it a little bit better accent piece. Just, you know, being able to say, hey, it's a... It's a wood bowl. There. Any hoots and goots. So uh, now we're just going back and sanding it. I think we started with 120 and worked our way up to 180. We did not spend a lot of time sanding, I'll be honest. I was just kind of just like, uh, just wanted to get a bowl done. And you can see my armadillo that's on my forearm there. Went to the Renaissance Fair a couple of weeks back. Got me a little temporary tattoo. But anyway, now we're just greasing this thing up getting that wood to kind of hydrate and pop a little bit you can see the grain in it it kind of it kind of looked better when it wasn't uh polished i'll be honest but mm, i'm kind of on the fence about this one but overall you know just the project in there it's good just to get something done in other words but this one didn't turn out too bad i guess it didn't pop off the lathe but overall had a you know good time making it Pallet boards, if you're getting into woodworking, pallet boards are where to start. Just get some, you know, cheap pallet wood, glue it up, practice your technique. But this one turned out pretty good. I liked it. So here's the finished project. You can see just all the, you know, age and the knots and the different grains of the wood, I guess. And there's one of those giant knots right there. But overall a win is a win a win is a win got it done and here's the slow-mo this isn't actually slow-mo this is just whatever but hope you liked it hope you got something out of it you guys are probably watching this sometime in the summer spring whenever anyway don't forget to subscribe all that good stuff uh see you guys in the next one peace so project is done this is a disgusting pallet wood bolt we could have uh the wood is it's no good. <laughs> this wood is so old, but I mean, it still looks cool. It's got a lot of character, I'll say that for it. So it's got divots all right there. It's got a giant knot in it right there. Just overall, uh, a little knot, not filled bowl, pallet bowl. This has actually been glued together for like over a month and now just had time to do it. Today's April 9th, Easter 2023, uh, but Glad this one is done. You guys are probably watching this in May or June, somewhere around there. Uh, but yeah, got done. We're probably gonna do a lot more of these, just some basic stuff. Also, sharpen your tools and wear your safety equipment because I got hit in the face with a shard from this thing. And then just the difference between sharp and unsharp chisels is amazing. And I've been doing this for over four years now and I definitely should know that, but learning your lesson. So, hope you liked it. Hope you got something out of it. Hope everybody had a good Easter. You guys are watching this in the future, uh, obviously, but uh, just gotta get back and into the shop because sandstorm is ruining my yard. That's where I've been spending most of my time. But anyway, hope you liked it. Hope you got something out of it. And I'll see you in the next one, and I'll stop rambling. All right, peace.